Christian Javier, Brian Abreu, Rafael Montero, and Ryan Presley trying to combine for a no-hitter. Rio Muto, bouncing ball to third, picked by Brickman, throw across in time! The Astros have a World Series no-hitter! Don Larson in 1956, joined by Christian Javier, Brian Abreu, Rafael Montero, and Ryan Presley. It'll bring up Harrison Bader, which should be a concern for Quantrill. Here's another drive to deep left center field, and this one is gone! It may be a small sample, but I feel confident in saying that Harrison Bader owns Cal Quantrill. I mean, the Yankees were counting on him to just solidify the defense for this team. Anything that he gave them offensively would be icing on the cake. Judge, the home run king, out homered in this series 3 to 1 by his teammate Harrison Bader. Here, for the first time in postseason history, brothers face off pitcher, hitter. Aaron Nola against Austin Nola. There goes Kim, and a base hit to right center. Kim is headed home. Austin Nola gets his little bro. 4 3 game. The rare hit and run. Not a lot of people would have scored on this, by the way, but Kim did not miss a beat. Bittersweet here. You don't even know how to react. 15th at bat with a runner in scoring position today for the Mariners. Two for four, Adam Frazier. And he pulls that one into right field. That's going to be a hit, and it's going to put the Mariners ahead. Raleigh around to score. And a second with a double. 10 to 9. Mariners have come all the way back, and now they're three outs away from moving on. And one of the great comebacks in playoff history sends the Mariners to the division series. Oscar Gonzalez, rookie from the Dominican Republic. He's 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. Hit up the middle, a base hit. The tying runner scored. Here comes Rosario with the winning run. And it's pandemonium at Progressive Field. He's done it again. Oscar Gonzalez, a two. That will bring the tying run to bat with Peterson coming up. So now the Giant fans have hope again. High drive. Right field. Headed to the water. Out of here. And this game is tied. A three run homer. The third of the night for Jock Peterson. We may not have seen one quite like that since Barry Bonds used to avoid here. Have a nice Jock Peterson. A couple of tape measure shots to put the Twins in front, two to one. Tough act to follow, and now here's Carlos Correa. And now Correa drives it to left. Three to nothing, Twins. Clear skies, but thunder and lightning at Target Field. Back to back to back to start the night at Target Field. A rise to right. Buxton to left, Correa to left. What a start, and the crowd loves it. 3-1 Twins. And now if you're Alex Verdugo and you're a Red Sox fan, you have to hope to take advantage of that small miscue by Josh Donaldson. Verdugo to right field. This game is tied. Here comes Jeter Downs. The throw from Gabo. The Red Sox walk it off. Alex Verdugo ties it in the eighth and wins it in the tenth and get a much needed victory against the division rival Yankees. An exhilarating 6-5 win over the New York Yankees. 21 nothing. And he got him swinging ball game. The Cubs with a 21 to nothing win over the Pirates. Nothing but good news for the Cubs here this afternoon. And around and around and around we go. It's like they're taking BP. And it is just a barrage of hits for the Cubs. Yeah, everything just going right for the Cubs. You know, there have been some ground balls hit, but none of them at a position player, and he just keeps the merry-go-round going. Andrew Vaughn is the leadoff man for the first time in his major league career. Andrew Vaughn first pitch swinging in the air right center field and this ball is up and clanging back in and that is a home run for Andrew Vaughn 
So Tony La Russa puts Andrew in the leadoff spot and he pays it off with a first pitch tater. Leadoff hitter Andrew Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen. Well, he seems to like it. He certainly like the first ball fastball. It's the second balk of the inning. A flyer who had never committed a balk in his major league career before tonight. He did oh, it buddy. again. He did it again. He called another balk. The, now, the first three balks of his career and now Donnie is losing it. And here comes the first base umpire John Tampain who made all three of those ball calls. Yeah get your money's worth right here. At this point it's almost like Tampain's just trying to make a point. Isn't that something. Strikeout number nine for Brandon Woodruff. Woodruff trying to get through the sixth inning. He got him. Ten strikeouts for a fourth consecutive game for Brandon Woodruff. Fourth consecutive time that Woodruff has struck out ten or more in a game. He's the only Brewer ever to do that. Ten or more in a game. Woodruff six innings, five hits, a walk, and ten strikeouts, and that means four consecutive double-digit strikeout starts. No Brewer has ever done it before. It is Kyle Bradish's game right now. It is his mound as it has been from the first pitch of the game. Three two. He struck him out. A ridiculous slider for strikeout number 10 to put Bradish on the precipice of greatness. Houston third in the league in runs, third in OPS, second in home runs, but not tonight. Tonight it's the varsity against the JV. Houston had a big problem tonight, and his name was Kyle Bradish. It'll be the sixth time ever that the team would lose a game pitching a no-hitter. Payoff. Grounded right side. Van Meter from the outfield grass. On a dominant day delivered by Hunter Green, the Reds pitching staff does not yield a hit, but falls by a skinny run about as bittersweet as they can come, one to nothing. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen it. You throw a no-hitter and lose. That's a tough build as well. For the love of everything that is decent and good, there is one out on the 48th pitch. 11th batter of the inning. <laughs> Justin Hira strikes out. An exaggerated cheer. On the 55th pitch, there are two outs. I can't imagine how tired Cam View is. This is his 56th pitch of the inning. It's swung on and lofted. It'll be Sawinski to make the catch. Cam View is through after a 56 pitch inning. Swing, high five ball, deep left field. Vaughn Grissom has homered over the monster. Bridge ball, first major league hit. You want to talk about one of the cooler moments I've seen on a baseball field in a long time? Incredible. There it is, number 200. Strider has done something no other Brave has ever done, and that's strike out 200 batters in his rookie season. He just took over and set an MLB record that was previously held by Randy Johnson as far as the quickest to 200 strikeouts in MLB history. Well, hit sharply out to center field again, and this time, uh -oh. Laureano missed it. Uh -oh. That's going all the way back to the warning track, and Smith has some wheels. They'll wave him around third. Here he comes. He'll score. Oh! First career major league home run in inside the park home run. That's going to put him on a short list with some folks. That's so much fun to watch that. Now Riley Green at the plate. Fly ball center field deep. Taylor back still going. Looking up. It's gone. Riley Green's first career home run is a walk off. Bob to center field, into the mob scene at home. Tigers beat the Royals on the walk-off from Riley Green. What a time for home run number one. Oh. That ball is hammered, right center, heading for the scoreboard. See you later. How about that for your first major league hit? It is going, going, and long gone. Took him 10 years to get his big league opportunity, and boy is he making the most of it. It's gone! Joey Manessis! And this game is over! Yeah, there's a new hero in town, M-E-N-E-S-E-S. -E -E Winston Bernard making his major league debut. This is a guy who has played 11 minor league seasons. He's been with five different organizations. Tap toward third, and Bernard is sick. Oh, the first I thought he beat it. Yeah, and you know what? This won't take long no. in New York. You're going to see the first major league hit for Winton. After review, the call on the field.
infield is overturned. The runner is safe. That's one of the happiest reviews in the history of Coors Field. JT picks up his 19th stolen base without being caught. He is an inch closer to matching uh, Pudge Rodriguez as the only catcher ever with 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases. Runners go, pitch low, and there is stolen base number 20 for JT Real Muto. He becomes the second catcher in Major League Baseball history to have 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in a year, and that is pretty cool. I mean, he got another enormous jump. Nice job by JT. Congrats. Varsho scampering into Triple's alley. Hey, he's got it, Dalton Varsho! What a catch out there! Hey, these Diamondback outfielders, anything you can do, I can do better. They always want to one up each other. Oh, man. <laughs> you think he's fired up? Look at that reaction. Varsho's throw. Hey! Got him! Watch this lightning quick release on a pitch that's inside to a right handed hitter. That's one of the toughest ones for a catcher to handle. Oh boy, what a throw. No doubt about that one. So Goldie on base for the second time, and here comes Albert Pools. Albert hits it down the left field line. Number 703. 703. It's history. RBIs, number 2000. 215 and 16. He's past Babe Ruth, second old time in history, and runs batted in. A historic blast, number 703. Oh, how awesome is that? So here is Paredes. You know, he was asked about the three home runs yesterday, and he said it was special, but the thing that really made it special was it was against the Yankees. There's a shot back into left, well tagged, and that ball is gone. Home run for Paredes. Here we go again. His ninth home run of the year and his fourth in the last two nights. This game, it, it's great. <laughs> I mean, you never know. <laughs> That's amazing. As a baseball fan, you got to sit back and go, this is unbelievable. Just don't get used to it. This is incredible. Otani to right field. I think he did. <laughs> he is passed. Ichiro for the second most home runs by a Japanese born player 118 of his career and he now has the team lead with 25 he's the starting pitcher it's five nothing halos the goy Shohei on cue just as we're talking about him double digits for the Mariners today 11 2 high drive deep right field Mitch turns looks and it's gone now 11 to 4 Kelnick fighting the sun he didn't see it and the Royals are going to get two more and the Royals have been down by nine line to right field unbelievable the Royals have taken the lead there it is a swing and a miss and the game is over what a comeback by the Royals Rymel Tapia sends a drive to deep center but where is it? And it's over, way over the head of Duran, who never saw it. And inside the park, grand slam for Rymel Tapia. One of those nights. And it's 28 to 5, Toronto. And this historic record setting night for the Blue Jays comes to a close as they set franchise records both in runs scored and hits. The hit parade continues. If they're not the best team in baseball, there isn't any that's clearly better. And that's it. The Dodgers steamroll their way to another division title. The 2022 Dodgers win 111 games, the most in the National League since 1906. Only the 98 Yankees. The 1906 Cubs and the 2001 Seattle Mariners won more games in a season than the Dodgers. One out and nobody on. 2-2 two, two coming. Aguiorme has to move his feet. He got hit. And Did he'll he? go to first base. And that one sets the record. That's 106. Should we play some celebratory music? Number 106 off the Unbelievable. foot of Guillorme, and that sets the modern major league record. Third time the Mets have been hit today. Canna was struck the first two times. And from here, it's all icing on the cake. Did Buck get the ball? Yes. Is he going to get it authenticated? Think about all the times, all the years you played baseball. This is probably the last time you'll ever hit. Ever. It's, it's a pretty crazy, amazing. crazy thought. Vote drives one. Right field. Did he do it? He did. Are you kidding me?
Well, we asked for one more heroic moment from Stephen Vogt, and he gave it to us. That's how it had to happen. That is how it had to happen. Unbelievable. That's just unbelievable.